Hey YouTube family, what's up? Uh, welcome to another Dan Permaculture video. Alright, so in this video, you know, I'm going to be showing you guys another fruit where, you know, most of you probably not familiar with. I'm not familiar with the fruit. I haven't tasted the fruit yet, but I'm actually growing it, you know, and you know, I always like just to try, you know, step out of that box of, you know, certain fruits and just experience something different, you know. If you don't experience it, you'll never know what it tastes like. So the fruit I'm talking about, which I'm growing and it's actually blooming and pushing out the fruits is the dwarf tamarello. Yeah, dwarf tamarello is native to South America, I think. You know, you have the, 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 the regular tamarello, which is the big plant. This is a dwarf or, you know, variety. You know, so then they bear like a berries. I think you could juice it you could eat it just like what it is so you know i'm excited to see one of my plants in the garden looking good i'm growing it in a container because of the nematodes issue and you know tamarello is a, isn't that tomato nightshade family so the nematodes attack i lost other plants in that species you know from nematodes you know because I actually put them in the ground but this I'm actually growing in a container so I want to show you guys what it's looking like the blooms and the little fruits to start forming so you know I, I love sharing what's in my garden and this you know I got this from Baker's Creek you know the of tamarillo so you could go get it too you know I'm growing it in containers can't hurt you you know you buy a pack of seeds for 350 I planted like two or three seeds and one actually survived and came up you know you know and i actually started this in december you saw when i started all the peppers and all that stuff the dwarf tamarillo was in that set of seeds all right so let's go check it out all right guys so it's in a seven gallon container i up it maybe like two months ago it was in a three gallon uh, up pot it to a seven gallon and since I put it in the bigger container it just took off completely and let's look at the fruit now see guys it's forming the fruits right here this is actually let's look at the, the, the blooms the blooms has formed more blooms there more blooms there and the fruit set is right here so from looking at the picture it look similar like something is forming all right guys the the, the, the fruits they have ripened and stuff let me pick one and show you yeah so i tasted the fruit and have to be honest it do have a hint of sweetness and a hint of kind of peach but it's not something i'm gonna be all excited to to grow so it's here I just leave it let it grow you know there's more fruits pushing right here there's more right here there's more right here and there's more right here yeah so as I said it's, it's fruiting let me taste it again right here yeah it do have a, a peach flavor behind it but then it have a slight bitterish behind it i guess it would make like a good jam or maybe a drink or something but i wouldn't consider this would be one of my favorite foods yeah yeah so my review on this if i would grow it again i'm gonna leave it here let it grow maybe the oil of the the, the plant get the fruit may taste better but that's that's you know my opinion and that all right so just wanted to share that fruit with you you could try it yourself have your own opinions as well all right the dwarf tamarello you know the seeds are available at baker's creek you could grow this in a container no matter what zones you're in it's, it's gonna grow It'll grow like just you know because in the night shade similar to tomatoes Yep, so if you grow tomatoes, you could try growing this. I started it from seeds. Yeah, all right. So the plant is about like four feet in, in height. All right now, three, yeah, three feet in height. 
Yep, I'm give you a close up again. This is the fruit site. Let's look at the blooms. This is the blooms. So again, it's native to South America. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. All be blessed with peace, love, and happiness. One love. And thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel. Thank you.